Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex, and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth guide on the Jean Grey Dark Phoenix World Boss Legend fight, including all boss attacks, all boss patterns, the two major phase changes, and the Dark Phoenix minigame. So let's go. At the beginning of the fight, Jean Grey is going to open with two fireballs and then a body slam with an iframe, or she's going to open with a dash like this, followed up by a bunch of fireball attacks, and then a different body slam that does not have an iframe. Now, there is a distinction here, so keep your eyes sharp. With the body slam that has an iframe, she will always follow up with a dash. You can use this dash to position her where you want her to be on the map. However, as you'll see here, the body slam that does not have an iframe is always followed up by this clone attack, which is very dangerous. So I've highlighted here the difference between the two. When you see the iframe, it means that she's going to follow up with a dash in one direction near you. If there is no iframe, this is more dangerous because she follows it up with the four clones, which will chase you down and then explode in a high burst of damage. So you have to sort of be able to read which one and react appropriately. This four clone attack is probably the signature attack of the World Boss Legend fight, and it's the one you're going to need to learn how to dodge the most. She can always follow it up with other attacks and patterns, so there's no use in trying to memorize what comes next. It's better to just learn how to dodge this attack, primarily by moving your character away, switching characters, or using the co-op skill, because tanking it isn't really an option. As you're going to see here, you take very high damage, but it is static damage. So it means that this is dealing a percentage of your HP, not an amount that's dictated by your defenses. As you can see here, if you just switch into either, in this case, Ancient One or uh, back into Jean Grey, the clones will just fade away and nothing happens. However, you can't use switching for other attacks in the first phase or second phase or third phase. And they deal tremendous amounts of damage, so you generally want to dodge any purple attack that you see in any of the phases. This is the one attack you can absolutely just tank it is very low damage it doesn't really matter where you stand you're always going to get hit but my advice to you is to just plow through it now once you get gene gray down to 30 bars you're going to trigger the first phase change there isn't much difference between the attacks in the first phase and the second phase except that they're more deadly and she basically just does more in this phase as you can see here it doesn't matter how fast or how slow as soon as you get down to 30 bars you always get interrupted by this super saiyan cutscene. now for the second phase, the arena is going to be all red, and she's just going to add some moves to her attacks that you already know. So the dash is going to have this, this uh, cone attack, the fireballs are going to be larger, and the clones that she summons are going to be uh, preceded by a, uh, a big flame pillar. And then instead of just summoning one, she's going to summon two sets of four clones. So she's going to summon eight clones that follow you around. So you have to, need to be very, very careful from the second phase onward, because she basically just doubles up and triples up on her attacks that you learned in phase one, and it just makes them that much more deadly. And you can see here, she still has the signature body slam with the iframe, and then she also has other cutscenes. Her dash does a dot damage that can be negated by fire resist, but the cone attack is energy damage, so you cannot mitigate that with fire resistances. Unfortunately, this tornado can be reduced with fire resist. As you can see, I'm taking one damage, but the other attacks uh, that are purple cannot be uh, negated. Now. Once you get Jean Grey down to 13 bars, you're going to trigger the last phase change and you're going to enter into the most deadly phase of the fight. However, this is where you can actually take advantage of Jean Grey and a lot of the weaknesses in the fight just before the end. So she's going to iframe here and you're going to be able to hit her for just a second or two when she lands. Then she's going to iframe again and then you're going to be able to hit her again for the remainder of this animation. Now, this does a lot of damage to you. As you can see, it does about 35% of your health per hit. But if you can tank this, or if you can leave residual damage there, you can get a lot of hits in and then run away. Okay, but she's always going to do that when you hit 13 bars, and that is the final phase change. From here, you're now going to see that I'm just going to dodge it instead of attacking. You can do either one. It really depends on how much time you have left. But from here, you're entering the final phase where things get even more deadly. The first of two new attacks that Jean Grey does in the final phase involves a triple teleport where she goes behind you and tries to hit you with these flames that will lock your joystick and deal pretty high damage. And then she does an explosion at the end after the third one. As you can see here, if you get hit by one of the flames, it will lock your joystick and force you to jiggle it back and forth as Mephisto's attack does. So you need to be ready for that. However, at full speed, you're going to see 
it becomes very difficult if you're locked into the first flame hit to get out of it and then avoid the second and third follow-up flame hits because of the way that she teleports so you just need to be head on a swivel and on your toes the other new attack that Jean Grey does will be very clearly telegraphed by her moving to the middle of the arena and the camera shifting she's going to summon five phoenixes down on a delay and the first phoenix lands only after the fifth phoenix has been summoned after that, although I died, you will see that she will summon four clones to chase you, and then she'll do a triple dash, followed up by a cone attack, followed up by four more clones. The most frustrating part about this is that she can chain this attack multiple times, so what you essentially have to do because she's not in iframe is you have to punish her during this phase. You can absolutely run away from these, but because she can chain these over and over again, you're, you can sort of get stuck in a, a running away mode where you're not actually dealing any damage and the time is running out and you're just not really getting anywhere with the fight. So my advice to you is to take advantage of that initial part of the, the, the attack, as you're going to see here, she's just going to chain right back into it. But my advice is to just take advantage of the part where she's going into the middle of the arena and summoning those first five phoenixes. As you can see here, she's restarting the cycle. Just punish her. Hit her right now with all of your skills. Unload your tier three, your tier four, etc. cetera. Um, and then when you see the fifth circle, that's when you start running or that's when you switch characters because that's where it's going to get crazy. All, everything's going to explode and the fire is going to go everywhere. But this, I think, is where a lot of players are going to get stuck and they're going to lose a lot of time and potentially uh, not make it. Now, I know Jean Grey has a lot of attacks that can't be tanked, but you can actually use the co-op skill as I'm doing here with Black Bolt to tank almost any of her attacks with most characters. Now, for some reason, some characters, when you use the co-op skill, they don't get the invincibility, but most characters should. So you can see there, my Black Bolt is completely unscathed. In this follow-up clip, I do not use the co-op skill at all in the exact same scenario, and my Black Bolt gets obliterated. But this tip applies to basically 95% of characters, so I highly recommend using the co-op skill every 30 seconds as your sort of get-out-of-jail-free card. But what about the red bar underneath her HP? What mechanic is that, Alex? You haven't talked about the Dark Phoenix bar yet. Well, when it fills up, and it will fill up every 90 seconds, you go into migraine mode, where Jean Grey is now going to try and kill one of your characters by destroying their mind. So you're going to enter into this really wacky mini game. As you can see here, you have the left side of the arena all red, the right side of the arena all blue, and the bar at the top under her HP is basically what's dictating whether she's going to go to madness or despair. And if you go and if the X goes to either all the way to the left or all the way to the right, you're going to die. However, if you keep it from going all the way to the left or all the way to the right, you're going to stun Jean Grey for 10 full seconds. Again, this is the moment where you're going to want to punish the boss with tons of damage. As you can see here, there's tons of different, you know, mini games and sort of uh, different patterns that you need to dodge. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to show you a bunch of different clips of me dodging so you guys can get an idea. But you have to dodge while also balancing how much time you spend in each zone. So my advice is to do either one of two things. And you can see there, there's a 10 second stun. Either stay in one side for a long time and then switch to the other side for a long time or learn how to yo-yo between the edges of each one to sort of bounce the X back and forth in that light blue where you sort of want it to stay. Another tip I have for you is to try and finish the, the, the run, try to finish that little mini game in the middle of the arena rather than on the edge because you'll then be closer to Gene to unload your rotation. You want to be at the back uh, or, or sort of at the edge of the arena for the mini game because it gives you more time to dodge the fireballs. But otherwise, at the end of those 10 second stuns, you'll see that she'll receive damage reductions, which will then make her more difficult to uh, kill later on. So you want to take advantage of those 10 seconds. As you can see here, I'm staying in the blue for a long time longer than normal. And this is sort of another strategy. There's basically two strategies. Uh, and then you basically just have to learn how to dodge the patterns. Then you want to be in the middle for the end to unload onto the boss. So yeah, this is basically how the mini game goes. It's pretty fun. There's a blue bar underneath the bar that's moving, and that blue bar is just indicating how much time is left. This is a 17 second mini game with a with a full 20 seconds on the mini game from start to finish from when you get the uh, stun to land and then it's a 10 second stun, which again, this is the best time to unload on the boss and deal massive damage with your attacks. If you fail the Dark Phoenix minigame by spending too long on the blue side or too long on the red side and the bar goes all the way left or all the way right, this is what will happen. Jean Grey will burst out in purple flames after a cutscene and kill your active character. This is why it's always recommended to switch away from your DPS during these minigames that Ultron, Gore, and Jean Grey have because otherwise they will kill your active character 
or if you know you're going to lose the minigame, switch right before uh, it's time to lose so that you don't kill your main DPS character. However, you don't want to lose the minigames generally because in Jean Grey's case, you miss out on a 10 second stun duration. So if you put all of these tips and this full guide to use, you will conquer Jean Grey, the Dark Phoenix. You will stop her from resurrecting. You'll save the X-Men Academy and you will see this victory screen here. So hopefully my guide has been helpful to you. If you have even more tips, be sure to leave them down below in the comments or hit us up on Discord with your extra tips. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you want to support it, of course, like it, comment, subscribe, share it with other people. I really appreciate all of that. And without further ado, hope you have a good day. Take care.